Hey guys, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss on linear algebra using NumPy and SciPy packages in Python. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button to get notifications of my new videos. With that being said, let's get started. So NumPy and SciPy are two very important packages in Python. So NumPy is called numerical Python package and SciPy is called scientific Python package. So NumPy mainly deals with arrays and matrices and it has inbuilt high level mathematical functions it has an advanced scientific package for mathematics science and engineering so these are the several important functions in scipy where you have special functions you have integral functions you have optimization where you can do curve fitting and all the stuff you have interpolation then you can do fourier transform you have a signal processing function you have a linear algebra and then statistics so today we are going to focus on linear algebra. Okay, so let's start with some basic matrix operation in Python. So we are going to find trace, determinant, transpose and inverse of a matrix using the NumPy module and the, and the SciPy module. So let's import numpy as np and scipy.linearalgebra as la. So now let's write the matrix. So let's print a. So this is our matrix A. Now let's find the trace of matrix A. So the trace is basically the sum of the diagonal elements. So the trace should be 6 plus 4 plus 1. So it should be 11. So let's check. So as you can see the trace is 11. Now let's check the determinant of A. So the term determinant of A is 22. Now let's let's find the inverse of A. So you can see this is the inverse of matrix A. Now let's check the shape of matrix A. So as you can see the shape of matrix is 3 cross 3. So we can also do the following thing using the SCPI module also. So now let's find the inverse using SCPI module. So as you can see this is the inverse of a matrix using the SCPI module. Similarly, we can find the determinant of A using the SCPI module. So as you can see, the determinant of A is 22. Okay, so now we are going to use this SCPI module to solve this set of linear equations. So these are the three equations. 
where x1, x2, x3 are the three unknown parameters. So we can write this equation in matrix form ax equals b. So a is the coefficient of this left hand side, x is x1, x2, x3 and b is the coefficient on the right hand side. So let's solve a system of linear equations using, using this technique where x1, x2, x3 are the three unknown parameters. So you have three sets of equations and three unknown parameters. So you can write this equation in the form of matrix ax equals b where a is the coefficient of x1, x2 and x3 and capital X x is x1, x2 and x3 and, and, and capital B is the, is the quantity on the right hand side. So let's write down the two matrix A and B. So these are the two matrices A and B as I have shown you. So now let's solve these equations. So these are the solutions. X1 is minus 8.91, X2 is plus 10.21 and x3 is minus 3.17. Alternatively, you can solve for x1, x2, x3 by taking the inverse of a and then multiplying it with b. So let's do that. So this will make the inverse of matrix A. So now let's multiply inverse of matrix A into B. So the inverse of matrix A times B will give you the value of x1, x2 and x3. So you can see x1 equals minus 8.9, x2 equals to 10 and x3 equals minus 3.17. So you can cross check using the, these two techniques to find the solution of any linear set of equations. So eigenvalue problem is a common problem in science and engineering where a matrix is written in the form a u equals lambda u where a is a square matrix, lambda is the eigenvalue and u is the eigenvector. So let's see with example. So let's say A is a 3 cross 3 matrix. So the eigenvalue and eigenvector of, of the matrix A satisfies these equations. So let's write the matrix. So let's print the eigenvalues.
so these are the eigenvalues we can also see the eigenvectors so these are the eigenvectors so basically with this simple technique you can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of any matrix so let's try to verify another important theorem which is called the Cali Hamilton theorem so imagine we have a 2 cross 2 matrix so the characteristic polynomial of a 2 cross 2 matrix A is given by this quantity so the Cali Hamilton theorem states that any square matrix satisfies its characteristic polynomial so let's check this theorem in Python So let's take a 2 cross 2 matrix. So this is a 2 cross 2 matrix and let's let's verify that this matrix satisfies the Cali Hamilton theorem or not. So let's run it. So where i is the identity matrix. So as you can see it satisfies the characteristic equation. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.